Uh, we're basically we're a training organization offering uh, supplemental training to any kind of player, any kind of level. We're, we're working with coaches coming straight out of Holland, as myself, so sometimes you might hear the accent or you can't follow it completely. That's Dutch. Yeah. So any, anybody speaks Dutch here? No? Ooh, we're still on the safe side. Yeah. All right, so um, our coaches come out of Holland. They, uh, they have their training license or straight through the KNVB or going through a uh, three-year college really to become a soccer coach. Not just to get their degree in, in some kind of level, no, really, how to, how you get to learn how you are a coach, how you work on the fund fundamentals and how to train teams. It's not just only, hey, the skills and stuff, how do you stand in front of a group and all that kind of stuff. So that's basically uh, a little bit of the background from our organization. We're not an academy trying to take players and, and build a real strong team or, or some kind of level. We're there for any kind of player. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of handouts over here. The training session is in it as well. And the first training session that we have right now, that's actually uh, focusing on the uh, skill development from players. We're gonna show you in uh, actually in nine steps how to work and how to progress uh, a skill. Yeah, how to build up the resistance for a player to improve on their skills. I'm gonna start it with real simple going into a higher level and how to really challenge a player because you can just start your session all right let's work on these moves kids do it and they get right away jumped into or maybe too low level or too high of a level yeah and we're really focusing on how to improve it how to get there and looking back at our dutch philosophy philosophy we always want to have the ball we want to work with their skills we don't want to kick the ball away so that's what we're going to focus on um, we're going to start with the first step, which is in the handout after the first page, and that's working on the skills in, uh, in, in the full field. Now we got the full field, we're going to use the full field so the kids have not that much resistance. Uh, we just worked on some moves with them already. They're going to show us three moves, three back moves, moves to turn around and to use the space behind them. You guys still remember the drag back, the first move? Yeah, you guys have a number, one or two? Yes, correct. Okay. So on, on the sign of the coach, they're going to do the move. Yeah, the move that they just taught. Numbers one, dribble up, and on my sign, you make the turn. Ready? Go ahead, dribble. So using the full space, yep, turn. And turn. And turn. And again, turn. And one more time, and turn and dribble to the end. Now you see right now there's not a lot of resistance, they use all the space, the only resistance there is make the move on the sign of the coach. Yeah, I tell them when to turn, they can do it. It's still only the, the focus right now on the move. Now you see a couple of them already, how they're making the move, it's incorrect. You can adjust it to them, you gotta show them really how to do it. And right now it's a drag back, so it's simple, one foot on top of the ball, have the ball in front of your body, drag it back, drag over the same shoulder, turn with your body. And that's how they're going to keep doing it. Now, the adjustment that I'm going to make right now already, we're going to do right and left. So we're also going to tell them when to make the move with right, when to do it with left. Can you the numbers aangeven? Elke keer we need to make the beweging. So there you go, that's the Dutch that you guys don't understand. Geef ook rechts en links aan. Hè? So again, it's on the full field. They have all the space. Nothing in front of them. No opponent coming near. They don't have to change directions. They can just keep going. You guys come this way. You guys come this way. And just stay over here. All right, and come to the end, guys. Come to the end. And so the details where you focus on right now is just plain and simple, their technique. Yeah, how to make the move, how to turn their body. That's the only thing you have to focus on right now. 
And right away we're going to go to the second step, which you can find on the, on this, on the first page still. We're going to go in, uh, into the full field, but they're not going straight up and down anymore. They can go in any kind of direction. So boys, it's up to you. You can go in any direction as long as you stay in the field. Yeah, we got the entire field. Again, on, si on the sign of the coach, you're going to make the move. Now, which move was the first one? It was a drag back, yeah? You guys do a second move? Chop. Chop, inside chop, yeah? You guys do a third move? Yeah, come on, you guys, you're the Dutch team, yeah? It's going to be Cruyff, yeah? All right, so coach is going to tell you the number, one, two, or three, and also maybe later on either right or left foot. And then you're going to make the move. You don't have to go straight up and down. The only thing you guys need to do is stay within the field. Ready, guys? Go ahead, dribble. You can go in any direction, guys. So that's right away for them. So that's right away for them to challenge any direction. A little bit of more pressure there. They've been through the three moves. And as coach, now you can really totally focus. Hey, this is the move that I want to see a little more. That's where I want to challenge. You don't want them only to use their right foot, also go into the left. Yeah. So this is obviously the smart kid that uses all the space here. Or he's not challenging himself. Heb je de kruif ook al gedaan? Wat? De kruif al gedaan? Nee, we pakken wel aan de volgende dan. Okay, keep going, keep going. There you go. Focus on your skill and your technique. Okay, and freeze, guys. Good job. Uh, can everybody go back to that line over there again? So, so again, already you see a little bit more challenging, but this is still the learning phase. And the kids need to uh, show the moves, show the techniques, and, and understand how they need to do it. Yeah, and then we get to a simple thing is, can I, can I borrow your ball? You see maybe kids struggling with the move, and then you're as a coach standing there like, yeah, 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 well, well you need to turn like that, do it like this, do it like that, and, and Johnny still doesn't get it. Then you really got to start thinking like, hey, where is the technique, what is the skill? Now, like a simple move, or for us it's simple, a, a Cruyff turn. All right, how do you actually do it? Not a lot always know it because they, hey, I got the skill, I can do it. Yeah, 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 you got to plant and then touch the ball between your legs. It, it's, it's got some dynamics in it. If I plant my foot straight here next to the ball, my other foot goes over and I, my hips are locked, I can't rotate any further, so now I'm going to touch, I'm going to keep hitting that heel. And that's, that's one of the moves that you always see, they keep hitting their heels and stuff. And they can't turn, and then you see something like, oh. Yeah, but now I'm going sidewards, coach. I want to go backwards. Can I borrow it? Yeah. So, like, if, if you go to details with a move just like that, hey, if I plant my foot here to the side, I can rotate my hip a little further, I can get that touch, and then it goes straight up and down. It's just a small detail, yeah? It's a small detail, and it's the same as, like, with all the other skills. Hey, if I want to do a kickback, Make sure you're standing like it's on the same side, swing over it, cut it back. Yes, yeah, so that's for you guys within these three moves. Hey, we have that drag back, foot in front of it, drag it back, go over the same shoulder, yeah, so I can see the ball the whole time. Inside cut, both feet on the same side, reach for it, cut it back, and rotate, and then the cry turn. You guys just paid attention here, yeah? so you saw it. All right, going to the third step. Uh, we're going to uh, increase the space, so they're going to be in the defined space. So we're only going to use half of the field. You guys are going to dribble around again. So uh, who was the smart kid? You were the smart kid. Yeah, that was all the way over here. 
Right now you can't do that anymore because everybody's right now here. Now it depends on the numbers of your, of your team of course, it depends on the skill level. You can always make it bigger or smaller. Yeah. All right, so again, we got the three moves, right foot and left foot, and there you can change it again. Hey, let them just pick it themselves which move or what, what stuff, or you can define it really for them, yeah? But you guys got only this space. You ready for it? Use the space there is. It's limited. Number one, drag back, drag back. Number one, drag back. There you go. Use both feet so do it by itself. Number one, again, drag back. So now the coach leaves it up to the kids which foot they're going to use. And again, that's always the first step that you do, and then later on you can define it really for them. Curve turn. Two inside cut. Number one, drag back. Number three, growth turn. Number one, drag Nog twee. Nu. Nog twee bewegingen. Nog eentje. Ah, Oké. Okay. Everybody can go back to the line there, yeah? So is it tougher right now, guys, than before? Yeah, yeah, no. It should still be easy for you guys, yeah? But the only thing, of course, you see a limited space. And I think we could have even cut the field more because I think nobody was here in this field. Yeah, so there again, you can challenge them by making it smaller. Uh, you notice coach at one point started calling the numbers quicker, back to back, stuff like that. And, and a lot of times you see, they're not into it, start calling those numbers quicker. Oh, there it's becoming a race and then we're going for it. Yeah. You, can eat, you can start saying like, all right, we've got 30 seconds, let's see how many moves you can make. But in this situation, then I'm still like, yeah, he moves in open air stuff as a game. Then I'd rather do it with maybe a couple extra cones. Hey, you put a couple cones around the field, make a move there, go to the next one stuff. That stuff. And then, trust me, as soon as you may start saying a game already, you get their mind a little more into it. All right, we're going to the next step. Next step is uh, together uh, with a teammate. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. I need. Uh, Four of you come over here. Let's go, let's go, these four. Yep, you two. All right, I need one, two. Go with your ball all the way to the back line. The other two line up here, straight across from each other. You go to the other side. You come over here. Right here on the white line, or yellow, however you want to call it. Yeah, you go over here. Right here, yeah. Same here. You can go, come a little out of the corner, bud. Right where the green line is. Right here. Face him. Yeah. There you go. Make sure you face each other there. Yes. Straight like this. All right. Going to the next one. Uh, they're going to form it right now with, uh, with a teammate, a partner. Yeah. The boys will start dribbling. They go straight towards each other. But before they hit each other, they're going to make one of the moves. One of the three moves, either right or left. So it's totally up to you. After that, you come back to your spot where you are right now, and there you stop. Once you're in your spot there, you wait for your sign and then you go again. 
Understand, boys? Yeah? So it's totally up to you. Let's see if we can do this. Ready? Go. Straight towards each other. Make your move before you hit each other and go back to their spot. Once you're back at your spot, you wait. Wait for a sign of coach. And go. You guys better wait for the sign of the coach, yeah? Wait at your spot once you're back. And go. Here we go, we have a crash. Okay, one more, ready, and go. There you go. All right, what we're looking for right now is actually the timing. Yeah, so that's the next step. Because you can make all these moves, you can make the most fanciest moves, but if you do them too late or too early, it's no use. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for. If you looked over here, we had a crash already, they ran into each other. Yeah, that can happen. But that's what I gotta look for, because you notice that a lot of players, hey, they have that skill over the ball, but they look down. They're not looking ahead of it. Or they, hey, they see that opponent coming, but when do I actually need to make that move? Yeah, and that's something that's also real tough to tell, because it depends how fast is the opponent, how fast are you, how good are your skills? Yeah, but of course, you don't wanna make this move when you're an inch away from each other. Yeah, and you don't want to do it when you're at your spot right now. Yeah, so the boys have to figure out when to make their move. Yeah, it should be maybe that two yards apart of each other. This is a back move, so hey, the drag back, you don't need a lot of space, but the cry of turn, you might need a little more space. Yeah, so boys, figure out when you need to make the move. Everybody ready? And go. And freeze, and freeze, boys. What, what can you do actually once you're back at your spot? What can you do over here, once you get back here? Um, stay still. Stay still. Now, if I, look, look what I'm gonna do. If I dribble up here, I make my move. Guess what? Which side do I need to go right after? Back there again, yeah? So over here, I do a little extra, make the move as well, and I stand still. Challenge them right away, you have an extra move there. So once you're back at your spot, show me one of the three moves as well and then stand still. Everybody ready? And go. So you dribble up, dribble up, and you make your move. Control the ball, yeah, control. So give yourself the space for your move and touch. All right, and go. Now once you're both ready, then you can start again. So check if you're both ready and you can start. Ooh, don't forget your ball. Yeah, back at your spot, you make the same move. There you go, that's better with the timing. Yeah, maybe a little too early, one was still in the dribble, the other didn't turn yet. Once you're both ready, you can start. Yeah, this is no use right now, because now we're not working on any of the timing. So check if you're both ready, a little communication. Okay, finish the drill guys, so once you're back at your spot, you stay right there. Okay, now, all the time before we let the coach make the decision which move, sometimes as coach you get tired of that as well, so we're going to make it easier for the coach, which we all like. This time, we're going to start over here, so the players on this side make the decision which move, one, two or three, and with which foot. The second time, it's the player over here that makes the decision. Yeah, so you check if you're both ready, you say the number, three, right foot, and then you go. So first time, here in this field, you guys make the decision, second time it's you guys. Everybody ready? Go. You didn't say the move, or did you? Move on which foot, guys? And then right away for you as a coach, give you some more time to pay attention to their skills. Yeah, you can check, hey, nice timing, good move, yeah, do they show me the same move there all together? As a coach, and if you have groups like this, try to find yourself a good spot so you have a good overview of the entire group. Which move, which move, guys? You gotta say, yeah? You gotta figure out the timing as well. Yeah. 
Okay, and finish the drill. Finish the drill. I always like to say finish the drill and not stop right in the middle. Let them continue to the end. So at least they got or one more run or they really know what's going on. Um, we're going to the next step. Uh, Wilmer, we need to center. Got an extra cone. Can I get that extra cone there, bud? Yeah, just one of the two. Okay. Going to the next step. I think that's step five already. So we're, uh, we're past halfway, guys. We're getting there. And the next step is uh, with a group. Now, it's real simple. We add one cone to the middle. Now we have the four players going at the same time to the center cone. So these four over here go to this orange cone. That grid over there will go to the center yellow cone. It's exactly the same. We're focusing again on the timing. Right now we start with a cone in the middle. Yeah, so they really have a spot. Now it's, it's again their view, their timing where they need to focus on, seeing what's going on around them. And uh, again in the beginning I leave it totally up to the boys. You can pick which number which foot. Yeah, it's totally up to you guys. You guys know which cone you're going to? Yeah? Alright, on sign of the coach you start, yeah? Ready? And go! So four of them start, dribble to the middle, make the move and go back. Yeah, once you're back you stand still. Of course you like to turn there with a move as well. And go! There you go. Everybody ready? And go! That's it. Remember how we need to turn with a drag back. Yeah, with a drag back we always turn over the same shoulders. If I use my left, I turn over the left so I can see the ball the whole time. Ready? Go! There you go. There you go. Have the ball on the side of your body. Alright, uh, a challenge right now, because they're totally focused on this cone, is to take this cone away. What will be? Johnny over here is faster than Pete and, and, and Will is a little slower, so hey, that center is going to be a different spot. Yeah, so they have to figure that out. Your name was Johnny, yeah? Ah, shh. I always guess wrong. Yours is Pete. Yeah, well, almost. All right, ready? And go! So dribble, figure out where that center is, yeah? So you see within their timing, you're going you're gonna to notice that's a little different. And again, it's, it, it's about their skills, figuring out where the middle is. You guys ready? Ready? And go! There we go. All right, and, and the same is with the previous drill. Right now, we're going to let the kids make the decision. Yeah, so uh, we're going to start here in the corner. So you'll be first, then second, third, and fourth in making the decision which move and with which foot. Yeah, so... You'll be first, second, third, and fourth over there in that group. Ready? Go ahead. All right, it's got to be clear. Your group needs to know which foot. Yes, yeah, so loud. I heard you guys before the session scream and talk, so you should be able to do that now as well. Oh, oh, oh hey guys, we didn't start all at the same moment, yeah? Check if everybody's ready. Who's in charge now? Which move? All right, let's go. All got to start at the same moment, yeah? So because right now we're slacking a little bit. Which move? Two. Right. Which foot? Two right foot here. Ready? Go. Now you got to make it clear, yeah? Number one is in charge again. All right, and one more. Go ahead. There we go. So again, and then your total focus right now should still be on, on the skill. Hey, how do we make, make that move? But you see already, so much more challenging from in the beginning when they just dribble up. We make the field smaller than towards each other and right now already towards a group. You can even do this one with everybody, all the eight in this field here, and just go towards each other and make moves on each other. You can make a game out of it. I just wanted to show it right now. Hey, you can even, if you say, I have, uh, I have five players, because you always have that in your training sessions, you have it all total set up. Yes, I have the perfect for eight players, and you turn out to have seven or nine. Yeah, then I don't know what to do. 
add an extra player, do a double somewhere. You got to be flexible with that. That's, that's the biggest part of, of being a trainer and a coach. You, you got to be flexible and, and adjust real quickly. All right, uh, players in the center from both the groups, roll your ball to the side. Just the center, the four of you. Yeah, roll to the side. There we go. Next step, uh, we're going to add the pass to it. So an additional part right away with passing is, hey, your technique of passing, how firm and that kind of stuff, but also receiving and the first touch and a little bit more pressure right now what we're going to do. What we're going to do, we're going to start with a pass over here on this side. He sends it in, you receive the ball, you dribble up towards him, you're going to step out to him, you're not going to steal the ball, you're just going to step out. You make one of the moves, you go back to your spot. Once you're at your spot, you turn around and then it's your turn. He's going, they're going to show an example over here. Pass it in first. Wait at your spot, receive it, dribble up, go towards him, make the move on him. Yeah, go back to your spot, and now it turns it around. You start with the pass over here. My God, is that your pass? He's never going to make it, yeah? Let's go, Finn Percy. Make your turn and go. All right, so, so here we go, yeah? Was that the, the, the correct drag back as we wanted? Did you see the ball the whole time? Give me a ball. Yeah? He made the drag back, up, rolled it back, looked at everybody and waved at you guys, but he didn't see the ball. It was real simple during a game. Yes, it's a quick turn, and yes, we can always do it, and a lot of times it does work. If you look at the fundamentals, if I turn like this, oh, there's an opponent, I drag it back again. Keep your eye on the ball. Yeah, so, so that's, that's a part of it. You guys all got the drill? You understand it? And that little firmer pass than Johnny, yeah? All right, ready? And go. Pass it in. Receive it, and dribble up towards each other. Yeah, figure out the timing. You, can, you could have dribbled up a little further. Yeah, see where your opponent is. Go ahead, pass it in. Firm pass, inside foot. So again, the additional part right away is, hey, inside foot passing, receiving, ready on your toes, all that kind of stuff. You can let them check in, check out, call for the ball. It becomes so much more right now. Receive, receive. Okay, finish the drill. Yeah, keep going, keep going, that's good. Okay. All right, so now we're always gonna focus on, and, and then you always have the, the players like, hey, if I'm the defender, how much pressure? And then some coaches say, yeah, 80%, 70%, 20%. What is that, yeah? Honestly, even my coaches told me, oh, you gotta go 50%. What is 50%? Who knows? Or I'm gonna steal the ball or not, just let me know, yeah? So, um, if I start over here and I'll be that passer, you're challenging the player that wants to make the move. And how to give them pressure is tough. Because you gotta really understand, hey, can this kid do the move and, and how can he do it? So, we're gonna figure it out. You ready? How's the soccer player ready to receive a ball? Like that? How do you stand normally? Yeah, on your toes, yeah? The best part for your first touch, being on your toes. A lot of players are not on their, on their toes. Forget about your first touch. Yeah, it's going to be so much tougher. All right, then you're going to receive it. Or are you also going to call for the ball? Yeah, like I said, hey, if, if I'm a player, I'm going to be on my toes and check in. Yeah, coach, pass. You make it already a little more like game related, yeah? So check away, check away, check, check, check. Mo move away, move away. Yeah, check in, call for the ball. All right, there you go. Go to the ball. Good first touch. Go ahead, dribble up, dribble up. I'm going to step up, and I'm going to just step out. This is all the pressure I'm giving. Was he good with his move? No, and that's the challenge we're looking for, yeah? And then sometimes you as a coach can just step in the group and you're giving them the challenge. Yeah, because then you see they're really focusing. Was your first touch really the best? Ah, come on, you're a gilder, you're a darts. We always use the inside. Yeah? And we make the ball right away go forward so we can attack. So if you pass it in to me, go ahead, pass it in. Yeah. I'm ready to go, I'm going towards you, check where he is, pop, make my move. 
and here make the turn again, yeah? So you always look over that ball as that player so you can figure out where to make your move. So same again for you guys, yeah? So we're gonna pass it into the other player and then once he's got it, the defender can give a little more pressure by really stepping to the ball, not by standing there like a mummy, yeah? Ready, go. Pass it in. That's not a pass. Oh, good. There you go. Inside foot to receive, guys. Remember, you can also check and call for the ball. If you want the ball, call for it, guys. There you go. You want it? You want it? You want it? Up, check, check. Good. Louder. He's got it. Go. Challenge him. Challenge him. Challenge him. Make the move, yeah? Focus on your skills there. And you see right away, we're building up the challenge. They're getting more pressure. Again, they don't have to steal the ball. That's not what it's about right now. It's really figure out the moment to make the move. Yeah, most of these players already knew, know these skills, but still, it, it, it's challenging. It's building up, making it tougher for them. There you go. Okay, finish the drill, guys. Okay. Can you guys all line up over there um, at the two middle cones, right there on that side? Go ahead, guys. Everybody over there. Oh, sorry. Pretty much everybody needs a ball as well. Bound op met die goaltjes hoor. Ja, hier is een andere one. Ah, oké. Hij gaat naar de next step en en to me honestly, this is always the one of the most important steps. Because if we're if we're playing soccer, if we're playing a game, you play a game. Yes, for fun. It's always fun, coach. Yeah, we need to work in fun, but you want to win as well. Because if you win, you have the biggest smile and it's the most fun. You can only win by scoring goals. Yeah, and that's our Dutch philosophy. And that's why we always come in second. Yeah. We always care too much about scoring goals and not that much about our defense. But that's kind of what we always think about, yeah? And you're gonna, and you're gonna see that also. Um, Next one is pretty much set up the same again. They're gonna dribble up, a little less resistant, but we're gonna add the shooting part to it. So a little different technique, additional. Again, a pass will come as well. Uh, coach, can you come over here? All right, uh, we're gonna start right side or left side, both at the same time. They dribble up to the cone, the red cone in front of them. Then they make one of the moves they just learned, one, two, or three, right foot or left foot. They turn. So additional during a game, if you turn, you're not gonna keep dribbling and stuff. You wanna release the ball because you're under pressure. That's why you make the turn here. There's somebody in front of you, you can't go further. I make the turn, there's a teammate. I pass it, I get open, yeah? This side will get open towards, in the direction of that blue cone, that side towards that cone. You get open, you get the ball back, and you finish with a shot on goal. Example over here with coach. Coach dribbles up, I'm the open player behind. He makes a turn, passes it, he gets open, coach here, one or two touches, depends on your coaching skill, and then you get the shot on goal. Yeah? Kid that scored, gets the ball, goes in the back of the group, next one can start. Yeah? You guys got it? I want you guys, yeah, to pass it to coach Wilmore. You guys pass it to the next player in line. Yes, the next player in line, roll the ball next to you, you're gonna stand over here on the side. All right, because you don't always have your assistant coach there, 
so hey, you got to figure that out as well. Yeah. All right, first one, so dribble up, go to the cone, make your turn, pass it to the open player, pass it back, score. And now you get the ball and you're next and the other one steps to the side. Yeah, it's a pass. It. Go ahead. Come back, of course, not through the middle of the field. Nice job, Johnny. Yep, receive it and finish. Yeah, and of course, I wish also I had a huge big goal here and a goalkeeper and stuff. It's not there, but still, they're, they're working on scoring and shooting right now, although some pass it in the goal. Where do you need to get open, bud? Yeah. And this, this blue cone is just there as a marker. Same during the game. You don't really want them to go to that blue cone. They got to find themselves up and they got to set themselves up. Okay, last one, both groups. And get open. All right. And finish. Okay. And get back. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You'll be next. You already cut in front of you, yeah? All right, so, uh, so the extra technique besides the move and the pass, which we also done in the previous drill, right away getting open. So this player over here, and again, same as with the drag back move, do we need to keep our eye on the ball? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. So if I pass the ball back here and I turn like this, yes, that's the fastest way you get to the cone. Maybe Johnny or Pete or whoever loses the ball there, and I'm running here, I can't do my defense, no transition. I'll look at the ball, so you turn your back. Then here, once I'm coming over here, which foot should, should I re receive it here, guys? The one that's near you, the one that's far away? Far. Every single time passing and receiving, use your far foot because you open up to the entire field, as long as you're lined up correctly. So can you pass it into me? Use his far foot. Now, if I have a first touch with far foot, ball should be ending up right there in the center of my body. So with which foot should I finish it now? Left or right? Boom, left. So that's also something you can force them right away. I want a left-footed shot here. And I know we get those kids, uh, I can't do left. So what they're going to do, extra additional touch, and you get some right. I'd rather have a left toe poke here than a right shot. Because you're forcing them to do it, yeah? And then because you want them to be fair, all right, after your shot, you come back and you go on the back of the other line, there you have a right-footed shot. Yes, guys, so let's, let's do it like that. A coach will step away here as well. So next player in line needs to be ready because that player will get the pass back and then needs to pass it in. You get open on the side, pass it, go to the cone, turn and go, yeah? First one's ready, go. <laughs> Dribble up, back move, turn, pass, get open, face the ball, use your far foot to receive. The other players get the ball, other players get the ball. Hey, go get your ball and you can start. Where's your ball? You can go without a ball, yeah? Oh, it wasn't it your turn? Oh, now he cut in front of you, yeah? Pass, up, get open, up. Get your ball, buddy, here, start, go. You're ready without a ball, yeah? Up, make your turn, pass it in. Face the ball, get open, use your right foot to receive on this side, left to score. Yeah, and of course, the opposite way down there. Left to for your first touch, and then right. Here you go, good turn. Was it? Was it the best back move? Far foot to receive, near foot to score, yeah? When well, we were supposed to switch lines, guys. Oh, okay. And not everybody. Johnny, Pete. Up. So there you see, it takes him an extra touch, takes him too long, and also his angle towards the goal becomes tougher. Don't go through the middle of the field. You always have those kids. Doesn't matter how many times you tell them, doesn't matter how many laps you let them run or push ups. Up, far foot touch, and finish. Good. Okay, finish the drill, guys. Okay. Okay, same here. Hold the ball, hold the ball, bud. Hold the ball. Just go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Finish the drill. It's back to the spot there. Just go back. Hey, same there again. You see, if, if you really notice how many do really use the technique of using the far foot and then with the, with the left scoring, I think if we pay attention, just a couple, yeah. 
same there. And that, that's, that's, that's tough. You tell them that, you force them to do it, but still it's, kids need to do it. Yeah, and you can stand there, go jump high and low, well, well you gotta do it. Tell them. Yeah, at one point it's still about them learning and getting it. Sometimes let it go. Let them go. Yes, they make that mistake. They gotta learn from that mistake. Yeah. If they keep doing that during the game, opponent will defeat them, will get the ball from them, limit their chances to score, or then you get that ball for your left foot, wide open goal, and we miss it. And then you step up as a coach. Hey, remember? Remember? That's, that's that stuff that you gotta focus on. And there we go for you. Uh, of course, if we would have had a goalie right now, I would totally make this a game. Right group against the left group. Hey, uh, you got one minute, you guys need to score as many goals as possible within this drill. Yeah, which group will win? Or hey, the entire group against the goalie? Who's gonna score the most goals or uh, stuff? And then you can really challenge them and trust me, they'll be flying all over the field and trying to score as many goals as possible. Yeah, all right, um, boys, come all over here. Just roll the balls here uh, against the wall. If you blast them against the wall, they'll be back in the field. That's why I said roll, yeah? All right, four of you in yellow, four in red. I believe we have eight players. Let's go, Balotelli, put those pinnies on. Okay, then from the red team, I need one player on that sideline, one on this sideline. From the yellow team, I need one player on this sideline, one on that sideline. Going towards step eight of the, of the ingredients, building up the technique, and that's uh, doing it in the keep away game. Red team, those two are gonna play against these two from yellow. They're just gonna play on possession. Skills, touches, passing, they don't wanna give the ball to the red team, they don't wanna kick it out of bounds. They have two wall passes, yeah? Yellow has a buddy over there and, and one over there, red over there. You can always pass it to your wall passers. Wall passers, let's make it a little tougher for them. You guys only have two touches max. So on the outside, you only have two touches. Touch it three times, ball goes to the other team. Yes, so you can always pass it to those other players. Guys got it? For the rest, I didn't mention anything yet. Ready? Play. Wall passes stay on the outside, yeah? You stay on your line, but you're free to move over that line.